It's Wednesday. Corbin Maxey is here. And uh, always interesting when you say that you're bringing in surprises Ex for us. Ex they, but they all have a theme today, right? They do. We have a theme, which is different for Creature Feature. Today we're going to talk about animal defense mechanisms. Okay. And what perfect than a African pygmy hedgehog. <laughs> He's a cute, cute And can guy. you tell, this is the first time I've ever really worked with a hedgehog on You're TV. holding him farther away um, than you normally do. <laughs> I know. Usually I'm like, he's a little prickly, but take a look. Do you want to actually want to feel it? I yeah. want to go around. You guys can feel it. Those, of course, those right there are the spines. And um, they're actually hollow modified hairs made he's of keratin. Jumpy, and it sounds like, hiss, like he's hissing. He's actually just smelling. Look at that. And I actually okay. want to get this up to your <laughs> mic, but isn't that cool? Okay. Now, they have a unique little nose. They have an excellent, can you get Penelope's? Sorry, she has this beautiful little nose. Take a look at that. And it's actually an excellent, see that? See under the yeah. eyes? It's cute. An excellent sense of smell. Now, what do you guys, I mean, what do you guys think this hedgehog is related to? A porcupine, you would yeah, think. Maybe the natural. <laughs> you know, that's the natural tendency. They're actually not even closely re re wow. um, related to porcupines. Um, porcupines are actually rodents. These guys are in their own order. They used to be considered insectivores, but now they're not. They're in the complete or um, order of a lot of different types of species of hedgehogs that live in Africa, Asia, and Europe. But take a look. You know what's cool? They actually have a circular muscle all that wraps around their body, and that enables them to chirp, they'll puff up, of course, for a defense mechanism, but they'll also roll themselves into a ball. So they don't get eaten. So they do not get eaten. <laughs> so do these hurt? Can these hurt? Well, they, they feel yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, I was actually kind of shocked. You can touch him again if you want. No. You wouldn't want to get one lodged. <laughs> and, and, and unlike a porcupine, they really can't get lodged into you. I mean, you would have to, I mean, they're a lot different um, than a uh, porcupine spines. But and a lot cuter than a porcupine. A lot cuter. Yeah. And a lot easier to work with, right? Yeah. Pal? We worked with I remember porcupines, the porcupines are scary. That was, they're he scary. was gigantic. And on he's top gigantic. Of it all. Terrifying. He almost, chasing us. He bit my, almost bit my finger off. So fantastic. Um, Penelope, fantastic animals. This is just the first of this a couple. Is our first. Of a few this is our first. This is our first. So animals have to rely on a lot of different mechanisms mm -hmm. to survive and some of that is even mimicking other animals. So Natalie, this right here is yeah, animals out of the bag. You know I'm also so take a, a look at this. Oh, this right here. <laughs> it's been a while since we had This a right here, here okay. is a Honduran milk snake. Now you're probably wondering how in the world would this animal, here you go Natalie, how no. in the world <laughs> would this animal stay alive? Well, it's it a type milk. of no, 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 exactly. It doesn't <laughs> drink milk. It actually <laughs> <laughs> okay, this animal actually relies on bait scene mimicry, which he mimics a venomous coral snake. Do you guys ah, see that? Could okay. you notice that he almost matches you? Yeah, kinda. Um, and so, so they're not wanting to bite him because they think that he's a venomous guy. Exactly okay. correct. But there's a way to tell. Red touches black, friendly Jack, which means he's not venomous. Red touches yellow, deadly fellow, which is a coral snake. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get too close. I remember but that. Do you want to hold him over here? Here, you can hold him over here. Here, buddy. Hold there you go. Sure. <laughs> see, look at that. Okay, he touched me. You're fine. Not venomous, okay. though. Not venomous. Not, not venomous. Last yeah. thing. This is so cool. This is Chompers. I don't like the big Oh, that's a great oh, name. Oh, Holy cow. She is our. Oh, Chompers, you're okay. Have we seen Chompers before? Do you have a steak mount, Natalie? It's okay, okay, baby girl. This right here is a baby oh. American alligator. <laughs> and hold on, we're talking about animal defenses. Not only can they bite. Yeah, he defends. Yeah, he bites your but, head off. That's how he defends. But, but take a look. They actually have that th those colors right there. This is called disruptive camouflage, Natalie. And you're probably wondering, what is that? Well, it's just kind of like. disrupting her. This yeah. is, it is disrupting her. But take a look at those stripes, those yellow stripes. Of course, what happens is it confuses predators. Imagine this animal in a swamp. It confuses predators. If you're wondering another example of disruptive camouflage, zebras do it also in the African plains to kind of confuse predators. But beautiful animal, um, gorgeous girl. You're okay, sweetheart. And is, is she and she's slapping not. you with her tail, too? Well, yes, is and you kind of have to watch out. Is that to, a defense mechanism as well? Um, I mean, I would, yes, it can I would be. Guess. It can be. And adult alligators have been known to, like, break people's legs. Oh. Um, so anyway, hmm. we're uh, asking for volunteers. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> no, she's a sweetheart. We've had her since she was about eight inches long, one of our rescue animals. So is she still growing, or is she full size for her species? She is still growing. Okay, this is the okay. largest North American reptile. She'll get up to about 10, 15 feet and oh, uh, so, weigh a few wow, hundred pounds. Still growing. Yeah, and look at her fat tail. It's how you tell a healthy alligator. Want to touch it? See? Oh. Isn't that cool? It's cold. It's too. the it eyes is. get me. They're Isn't just, that they're eyes? They're so still. And it's just a great. Yeah. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> it is just a she great defense easy. mechanism. All of our animals, fantastic defense wow. mechanisms. All, All right. right. So a nice theme here on creature. Absolutely. Absolutely. Animals Absolutely. keeping themselves safe. Hopefully, we will keep ourselves safe during mm -hmm. the commercial break. But we will be right back. <laughs>